There it is. The infamous mirror. Don't want to do this again. That's the first black mark, isn't it? Oh, that'll do it. Broken. Hello guys and welcome back to Tear the Veil. So today Dan doesn't have an actual clue what we are doing. But what we are doing today is called the Black Mirror Ritual. Now for those of you who haven't heard of this, uh, what it is supposed to do for the rest of the night, uh, it is supposed to bring you bad luck. Oh, really? And the but. If you survive the night, you're supposed to be rewarded afterwards with good luck and fortune basically following that. So the reason why... Wait, I... if we survive? Yes, that is the, what the instructions say. But, there's a reason why I'm doing this. The part that I've not told you about is something's haunting me. There has been footsteps at work, in the toilets, hand dryers going off, stuff getting thrown off of shelves. Uh, only when I'm in the shop... My uh, stereo and the heater on my car keeps turning itself on and off. I have seen the reflection of someone looking over my shoulder whilst I've been playing on an arcade machine at work. So something is attached to me. Gemma keeps hearing things in our house, but only whilst I'm there. So I want rid of it. Now I understand why you was worried about the EMF. Only setting Going off when... when it was in my hand, yes. Which, by the way, that video is coming next week. Uh, but yes, we are filming two videos at the same time. We are in a place called Wailing Woods. So you will find out more about that next week. But yes, we're going into this 3 a.m. ritual to go sort it now and hopefully we'll survive the night. Then we'll be clear, hopefully, of whatever it is that is following me around and attaching itself to me. And then, hell, who knows, maybe our subscribers will go up. Hit that subscribe button right now anyway, guys. Anyway, quick before we die. Let's get into it. Right guys, so I'm going to run through some of the instructions and things that we need for tonight to go through this. So, uh, the Dark Reflection Ritual relies heavily on using mirrors. So today we have brought a mirror with us. So according to law, bad luck doesn't follow the person itself who breaks the mirror. Rather, the negative energy gets put into the mirror. Uh, and from there should dissipate from there so all the negative energy that is following us around should be attached to us should then hopefully disappear uh, after we've got our bad luck wait so instead of the mirror giving you bad luck you're putting bad luck into the mirror yes right so the requirements for this is you need a mirror it doesn't specify what size shape or anything as long as it is a mirror that you are willing to break that is fine uh, you'll also need a candle and matches, which we have brought with us. The beginning of it needs to be done after sunset, which it's very dark right now. So I think we've achieved that one. Uh, but before dawn, now I have also checked this, and dawn is currently at 7.14 in the morning. And we are gone 2 o'clock, coming up to 3 o'clock now. Uh, so it must be done 3 hours before dawn. Uh, sorry, 6 hours before dawn, or up to 6 hours before dawn. So we are definitely within all the requirements there. So then you need to take your mirror and look your reflection in the eye for three to five seconds, focusing all your attention on the negative energy held within the mirror. Then hold the glass to your face and anoint it with your breath. That is, uh, breathe on it until the mirror fogs up. So you need to repeat this step for as many players as there are. So I assume you're part of this, Dan. <laughs> I'm not turning this down. So we both need to. Why not? We both need to do the same thing of put our negative energy into it. Wait, you're breaking the mirror, though, right? Uh, so after all the players have successfully anointed it with their breath and put all of it, you need to light the candle with the matches or the lighter. Light the candle and then hold that candle to the surface of the mirror. And once the candle has then blackened a small portion of the glass, you can remove the candle and extinguish it. And then you need to break the mirror. 
releasing all that negative energy that we have put into it. So you need to leave the broken pieces of mirror where they are and evacuate the area immediately. Well, we are not going to be doing that part of it. What? Because we're in the middle of an overnight challenge. So we're going to be staying here overnight to see oh, what sort what? of activity we can get and to debunk this if it is not real. So yeah. Bad Luck Wall will proceed to follow you throughout the night. Uh, incidents will likely be big, uh, begin small and they'll grow in severity as the evening wears on. Uh, your survival is dependent on your state of alertness, it says. <laughs> I'm off uh, asleep. Uh, and there are no rules following uh, to follow or actions to perform which will guarantee your safety. The only piece of advice which is given are the following, stay vigilant, uh, you should find yourself in a particularly threatening situation, hold your breath for as long as you can. Right. Well we're going to pull out a spirit box, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> uh, and should you survive the night unscathed, your luck should, will perform an abrupt about face and the arrival of the first light of dawn, your bad luck will end and strike of good fortune will begin. Uh, a lot of people said that they followed doing this have been out bought lottery tickets or scratch cards, something like a scratch card, and they've pretty much won on it straight away. Sounds to me like a load of donkey doo doo. Yeah, so we are going to give it a try because we like to debunk all these things for you guys. So we chances are it does debunk it. It is going to be fake anyway, but let's go and find out because I want rid of this bad energy. <laughs> <laughs> Worth a try, let's do it. I've got to say, out of all the superstitious stuff that I've seen, uh -huh. the mirror is probably one of the biggest. Yep. So if any of this superstition is real, then that's probably more than likely to be yep. it, right? But uh, black mirrors, they've showed up like a few times in, well, in research that I've been doing. Right. Um, I don't know if you've heard about it. Oh, in fact, yeah, I've definitely told you about the story. There's. Um, there's a group in America, and they basically tour around, taking all these haunted objects around for people to look at. Okay. And one of them's a doll. I'm pretty sure I've told you that story before. Mm -hmm. I'll go into it at some point. Mm -hmm. But uh, they also have this little black mirror. And it's a handheld mirror. And the idea is, it's actually painted black, so you can't see a reflection off it. So you, you sit in a cupboard with the lights off, and stare into it. Right. That's the idea. That's how these things are set up. And uh, so the woman who set this up has done that repeatedly. She got obsessed with it apparently. Well, this is how the story goes. After so long, weird stuff started happening. But anyway, I can't remember exactly what happened to her, but they've ended up with this mirror on this tour. And basically anybody that stares into it sees their absolute worst fear. Right, so this one guy goes up to it, and his worst fear is like being burnt alive, and that's where he sees in this mirror. He sees himself, his reflection, being burnt alive, or it's black. How does that work? It's got to be in his mind, right? right? But it seems to work with almost everybody. So they stare into this mirror, and they see their absolute worst nightmare, which it sounds absolutely scary. Right? This mirror's trying to scare you, but what if it's actually making you try to face up to your fears? Okay. So it could be a positive thing. Yeah. It's just weird how you said the look turns from bad to good. I'd love to see if it's uh, see if it's actually real though. I mean, I hear a lot of these stories and you've got to think, it's, it's highly unlikely. But then, the only way that you'd ever believe it is to see it for yourself. Right guys, so there it is, the infamous mirror, so this is what we are going to be breaking tonight. So you're that worried that you're haunted, you're about to smash a mirror because of it, in the desperate attempt they might get rid of your haunting. Yeah. Desperate times man. Or I've got seven years worth of bad luck. Which is worse. What if you get seven years of bad luck and a haunting? Well, then I've got a... What if you get a second haunting? 
<laughs> and I've got a real big problem. Especially <laughs> since mirrors are deemed to be portals, so if I break it, then am I opening one? Well, it's weird, isn't it? Let's find out. Right, so next instruction was to breathe into it once it and... Well... Look, yeah, three to five seconds. Look into it, stare all your dark negative energy into it. And they did say as well, uh, one that kind of means a lot to you as well, is a good mirror to have, and this has been in the family, I think, my entire life. So, there's been a lot of darkness stared into that thing. <laughs> Let's find out. So. Dread to think. It's bad that I really don't want to know what's behind me in this forest. Don't look behind you. Right. That's worked for me. Pumped it up straight away because it's that cold. <laughs> so, I'll take the camera if you want to do the same. That's a three to five seconds. Yeah, just stare into it until you feel like you've released your negative energy. Did you steam it up, yeah? yeah. Oh, I can't believe we're back to these red candles again. Never ends well when we use these red candles. Can you see that, yeah? Alright, so, red candle, because red candles are always fun. So we just need to burn it until it's black, yeah? Yeah, good burning, make sure we've done it properly. Don't want to do this again. Come on. That's definitely a black mark, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely a black mark. There we go. Okay. It doesn't matter if two different people did it, does it? No. Nope. As long as it's been blackened. So Now for the fun part. Here we go then. Either we're getting bad luck for the rest of the night and good fortune. Seven years bad luck. You ready? Go on Fred, bat it good. Fred's hammer. That's not good. Did that not crack? No. Oh. <laughs> Hit it harder. <laughs> Don't break. You've what? got to break it with a hammer, haven't you? No, it doesn't. You just need to break the mirror. All oh, right, go on then. Oh, that'll do it. Broken. Oh god. And so it begins. Right. So the first thing they mentioned was to evacuate the area, right? Yeah. <clears throat> and we're not going to do that, are we? No. We're idiots. <laughs> And so it begins. I thought the bad luck had started already. I thought I'd lost the EMF reader. <laughs> oh, my luck is bad enough as it is without tempting fate. Still got a small EMF reading. Do you want to go further into the woods to where we were hearing noises before? Which, by the way, that video is coming out next week. Uh, Wait, I thought the, uh, the worst thing to do was to not leave the area. So shall we do a spirit box session? It's hovering about the same. Oh, that's not good. We're going over one now. That's random. It just yeah, turned still about the same, I suppose. <laughs> and the bad luck begins. What's worse is we think we're going to have bad luck, so that's going to make it twice as worse. So, do we really have any bad luck? Yes. That was a yes! Um, I'm having bad luck trying to focus on this bloody EMF screen. Thanks. Why are we going to have bad luck? I didn't make that out. Did you do that, yeah? What? Turn it down, uh, nope. slow it down a bit. Nope. Well, that's a bit freaky. Why is it sticking between speeds? I've just got the chills. This really? is freaky. Really? <laughs> yeah, but just because it's speed thing, it's, it's just weird. I mean, I'm not a superstitious person, like, but I don't like to tempt fate. <laughs> hey, you put your energy into it as well. Ah, what's the worst that could happen? <laughs> find out. Wait. What? Rob, we're what? gonna have severely bad luck. Yeah. In a forest that trees keep falling down. 
Oh god. Did you do it? The speed's changed again. Yeah, it has. I'm not touching anything. Let's see the switch. It's not like stuck between no, sticks. It's them it? buttons. It's literally buttons, mate. Oh, so it's not even a switch? No, it's just buttons. I heard that as well. How bad would it have been if we'd have got back there in the town and gone? <laughs> well, this is real. That bad luck started because you're walking them. Right, guys, so that was yet another 3 a.m. challenge, and that was the Dark Mirror ritual. Uh, so it's the next day, and I've been waiting to see if anything happens. The only kind of bad luck that we really had is the fact that following that we was getting like no activity whatsoever. Uh, but then when it comes to the good luck side of things, now I haven't had much myself. That being said, Danny however, has managed to, he's been thinking for quite some time that his flat has been like bugged and rigged and he had like cameras in there and all that. And as soon as he got home, straight away pretty much he found a camera, like a tiny little one hidden in the corner of his room uh, so he's actually found that his room is in fact being bugged by his neighbours uh, so I mean there is some good news that he's had some luck with that uh, so who knows maybe there is something to this ritual who knows uh, but anyway that's been it for this 3am ritual we haven't been able to prove it or debunk it unfortunately but until next time as always remember to embrace the unknown